Okay guys, welcome to another episode of Quick and Dirty Marketing Trick, Tips, Secrets, Behind the Scenes. Today we're going to do the follow-up to this Google PPC conversation that we're having that was, uh, we're just going to kind of run with traffic and paid advertising for a couple of videos here. So hopefully you're enjoying those. Um, we're going to go over the display part in this video, you know, visual type ads and you know, again, we're gonna follow that same format. We're gonna go over kind of how that works, you know, the offer that Google has for you on how to get those started, the tricks and what we like to do with it, and then the best use sort of strategically, you know, high level, and then, and kind of what we typically do here and how it might fit into campaigns that we're doing. So stick with us and let's go over display advertising on Google's AdWords platform. Okay guys, so here we go. Google, now there's two things going from an agency side. You know, I like to give you guys a little bit of the agency background stuff. Now we do media buying, which is kind of the high level, you know, wholesale agency buying of media. And that just means that we basically buy advertising space all over the internet for our clients. Um, the ones that show up, you know, is like banners and skyscrapers and flashing videos and they're on apps and they're on mobile and they're on desktop and tablets and everywhere. And we can get them everywhere, uh, no matter where uh, people go that we're targeting, which is so exciting. And the data and how that works is really better now than it ever has been. Google, which is pretty neat, allows you as a sort of retail buyer to get in on that game, they give you access to upload display ads. So these are, you know, little graphical, basically thumbnail type ads, like 200 by 300, 150, all these different aspect ratios. We, a good ad set will have somewhere between 16 and sometimes, I think Google requires 16 and you need to get these done and upload them. And, you know, we do a ton of those every week um, because we're rotating them and testing them and you got to get into a thing with display advertising. You got to be producing this media that's got to go out, right? So it could be seasonal changes, product changes, different offers, different looks, male picture, a female picture, a dog, a cat. Um, you know, there's all these things that you've got to cover when you're dealing display ads. Now the power of it, and I know that sounds like a pain in the ass, but the power of it is that people remember images. Display ads are, are memorable, and video ads are even more memorable. A video ad, uh, studies show, can be recalled 30 days later by a person that just saw it once. So, um, you know, display ads, that strategy kind of bleeds into video advertising, if you will, but just to focus on display ads, they're very memorable as compared to text-based like PPC ads which are sort of the least memorable. Display ads are very memorable, and if you do them and campaign them well, you can really start to create brand awareness. So if you want to look at big brands as an example of how successful that is, you know, you can look at brands that really pump their logos, really pump their images, really pump their colors, and really raise awareness through visual advertising. So companies like McDonald's and Nike and Walmart and all the ones that we know so well spend a fortune on visual-based advertising, and you should be too. If you're running a business, you wanna grow your business, you want people to recognize you, be recognizable, be re memorable and relevant in your market, you should be doing visual-based display advertising. You need to be memor you know, remembered, and you need to be recognized when somebody sees your sign when they drive by, or they see your truck you know, helping another customer, or you know, whatever the deal is, you it's important for your business as you grow and want to grow to be visually remem remembered. So display advertising is the fast track way to pay and buy your way into that psychological space in your prospects' minds, okay? So Google allows you to do that now. Um, they have for quite some time. I think it's underutilized. I think a lot of people get into the PPC dashboard and they get roped into keywords and pay-per-click and they start doing these text-based ads and all that stuff and it kind of you know, the display ad side just never happens. And the biggest obstacle that we see with our clients is 
they don't display ads because they got to make the damn ads. Like it's a pain in the ass. And frankly, it's a pain in the ass for us too. And it's not a cheap exercise, but it's so worth it. And, uh, you know, and, and if you can get that part healed, you know, and done and get in, you know, a good production with that, then uh, it can be an amazing thing for your business. So there's two ways to, to go after this thing. So I'm going to give you kind of the, tr the tricks because our format is that's the offer. We just kind of covered how it works, maybe a little long winded, but there's so much to say about this stuff. I'm trying to keep these videos tight and I'm like struggling, struggling, struggling. Last one, 14 minutes, like we're at five right now and I'm like dying here because I got so much to tell you guys. Um, so stick, stick with me. But in my notes, are just, that's kind of the offer. That's the premise of the whole thing. The tricks are, again, a couple of things. Now, in PPC, we talked about, really, I like to just run offers there because I don't think anything else is very compelling. Uh, in display, you can do some other stuff. Yeah, you can run offers, but you can also just run straight up branding. You can run social proof, third party proof, testimonial type stuff. Um, show another person who loved your business and what they said or what, you know, a little kind of almost like a mini flash story like Sally loved us or you know whatever just some random stuff but those things are memorable and you can do them with display advertising in a way that you just cannot do with text um, and you don't you know to counter what I was saying about it's a pain in the ass to make the display ads well that's true but it's a lot less of a pain in the ass than making a whole video ad so you know there's a sliding scale here it's like yeah do text kind of lame and frankly the results are kind of lame a lot of the time do an image-based ad, results are definitely better. It takes a little bit more work, but you get better results and you can get a lot more memorable uh, advertising into the mind of the prospect, you get a much more memorable um, push into their mental space. And then you go to video advertising, which is arguably the most powerful. I mean, that's why TV commercials are so expensive and we, I don't think we need to debate that, but yeah, it takes more work. You gotta produce a video. You gotta. You know, the whole thing's got to work and it's got to look great. And it's got to be in a segment that builds up all the right triggers. And you got to, there's all these little rules to that. So that's a whole nother thing. But in this is kind of the happy medium ground. It's like the Goldilocks of advertising. It's achievable for local businesses like yours, achievable for regular folks at a fairly moderate budget. And you can get really great visual impact with your prospective clients or, or customers or whatever you call them. So the trick though is again, targeting is always gonna be really important. Like where are you bidding to display these ads, okay? And one safe bet to start with, which we love, is to use these display ads as retargeting ads. So use Google's tag system, get the tagging going so that you have an audience of people that are visiting your pages. So if you're paying for any other types of ads, like you're sending out mailers, you're doing a TV commercial, you do a podcast, you do a radio show, you have referrals, you hand out cards, you you know, you knock on doors. I don't care what your camp your sort of cold campaigns look like. If you're gonna follow up and you're gonna you're gonna back that investment with you know more good money, then visually stay in front of your prospects with some display ads. So set up tracking so that if they come to a page, you can visually stay top of mind with them over the coming weeks through using display retargeting inside Google's uh, AdWords dashboard, which is all there and they kind of walk through it. And, you know, the reality is you can pick up the phone and talk to them and, you know, it's not a fun phone call, but, you know, anybody could hack through it. Maybe it's not the best use of your time, which is, you know, the argument to hire somebody like us that can kind of make it accelerate the whole process, make sure it's done professionally and done correctly the right the first time. But I'm here to tell you, anyone can figure it out. So if you want to learn it and you want to do it, the resources are there. This is just one video on YouTube. There's all the like technical videos and how to do campaigns, all that stuff. I don't want to cover that. I just want to cover, you know, what it, is it meaningful and does it work for you? Okay. So targeting is really important. The display, you know, the, the offer and what the ads look like. Creative in this case is very important, right? So these are the tricks. You gotta have good creative, you gotta have good targeting, and again, you gotta have, you know, a decent, meaningful budget and understand what you're bidding for. And then, uh, you know, we'll go into best use here, which is kind of what I promised in this video. For me, I love these for good retargeting follow-up and getting Google's placement, which I can't get in a wholesale media buy. 
So one of the cool things is you can get display ad placement buying from Google inside Gmail and some of their other you know, natively owned platforms that they run. And they don't sell that out on the, on the secondary market. They kind of keep their own control of that, which is nice. The other thing that's cool though, is if you buy display ad placement from them on your dashboard in your account, you can also run your ads out all across the internet because they do go, they do go, they act as a middleman essentially, and they, they will take your ads out to market and get them all over the place on properties they don't own. So one nice thing about running some display ads there in the Google dashboard is you get placement on their stuff, plus you get access to everything else. Now, granted, they, they take a little money in the middle, can't blame them for that, um, but they also are giving you a little gateway into what is traditionally a very expensive wholesale market that has a high buy-in and so forth. So it's great for local businesses to get your feet wet with that. But I love that use of it. And again, I love putting offers out in there and I love telling an advertising story with that. So we get an ad that looks like part A of the story, an ad that's part B of the story, an ad that's part C, and maybe even part D of the story of about a brand and we run those ads across um excuse me i got a phone call there uh we run those ads out like over a series of like maybe 10 or 12 days so that the person who's seen these ads is starting to see a story about the business or the brand or the offer or the product right and the ads are starting to tell that story starting to tell that story so anyways that's that's where we like to use them. Um, you can use them to generate cold traffic. It's not my knee jerk thing to do, but it can work. And we definitely have a lot of that going as well. I like to feather that in though, once I can get uh, good established campaigns and traffic going with other sources and so forth. So that's typically what we do, um, but the best uses are visually memorable ads and if you have a product i can't say enough about it if you sell a product you've got to be doing display advertising okay period you've got to show this thing that you want people to buy if you have anything that you need to show somebody then this is the ad type for you if you're a service-based business or you sell an intangible you still can play in this space but for product people, this is a must do, you know, frankly. I mean, if you're selling a thing, widget, whatever, you got to take a picture of it, great picture, and get it in front of people's eyes so they can remember this product, this brand, this brand sells this product, and start making that association so when the need comes up, they go to you and you get the sale. It's just that simple, okay? So, again... A little longer video and I apologize for that but there's so much to say about this I probably could cut these down cut them up I don't know but we're getting them done anyway so if it helps straighten out your mind a little bit on display ads inside Google and its differentiation between PPC uh, even though it's happening on the same dashboard then that is great like and subscribe this video share it to somebody who's maybe struggling or you know think maybe that they need to get their head straightened out about it uh, we're, stick with us because we're going to keep coming with traffic and paid advertising videos here. So if you want to see more, I'm going to share what I know after the last 10 years of doing this. And, you know, and hopefully that helps elevate your game a little bit. So we'll see you on the next one. And thanks for watching.